Hello sports fans, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special national college football top five for JustMyPicks.com. It's going to be a very exciting season in 2013 football season. We saw a lot of college football stars graduate and go to the NFL via their senior season or leave early because of their junior season. It's a lot of top teams from being that a lot of teams lost a lot of talent that can move up potentially I'm going to give you my top five only my top five and I'm going to give an honorable mention to some but let's face it the SEC has for the last seven years owned the national championship I don't care what conference is going up against it even an independent with Notre Dame so you have to look at the SEC's dominance also the Big 12 the Big 12 has a lot of great potential teams also the Pac-12 is is rebuilding in a little bit but i think they'll have a, a few title contenders in there but i want to start the top five countdown we're going to start down in athens georgia the georgia bulldogs the georgia bulldogs i've heard it before year in year out that they've had the talent to do it they have Aaron Murray coming back, their quarterback. They lost a lot with Jarvis Jones and Alec Ogletree, a lot of those top defensive players. But Georgia is known for producing some of the best defensive players in the SEC. They've also reloaded this this the last two years with recruiting. They've produced a lot of solid talent for the NFL. So I'm convinced that that defensive coaching staff in Georgia will have this team ready. They play Clemson in their first game and then South Carolina. Those will be two big tests. But I think that with Aaron Murray at the helm, not making mistakes, also with Gurley down there at the running back position, they have an offense that is ready to explode at any point in time. I like their schedule besides the first two games. If they can get past those, I like them moving slowly up the charts out of the top five potentially into the top spot or either the second spot by halfway seasons mark but I think Mark Rick this is your time you've had a lot of talent from Matthew Stafford David Green no Sean Moreno to David Pollock you've had so many talent play talented players at Georgia I think this is the year you need to get it done or we're going to start hearing more whispers about your coaching future in Georgia moving on to number four Texas A&M Aggies Aggie land down there has been buzzing since since Alabama was uh, was defeated by Texas A&M and Johnny Football was was basically thrown into the the landscape of college football greatness was the first freshman to win the Heisman overall. <clears throat> Johnny Football has improved. I've seen him from spring games. I've seen him not only try to not run the ball more, but he's also more accurate. He's improved his passing. He's improved a lot of mechanics, his footwork, a lot of those things. And and Texas A&M, they, they may have had their best recruiting class last season and this season. They've got a lot of good wide receivers that come in there. they got running backs that now want to be a part of what Johnny Football is doing. They're reloaded at the talent as far as the defense position goes. I know they lost a couple of good guys on defense, but they will have opportunities to show they are more than just Johnny Football. With Johnny Football being the main target and the Heisman and people wanting to take him down, other players are going to step up and come into the fold and do a lot of great things. I think that their head coach has put in a solid game plan each week. As I saw last season, I didn't expect a lot from them coming into the SEC from the Big 12. But I'm pre I'm predicting that they will have a great season. I think they will challenge any challenger and put up a great fight every single game. Plus, Johnny Football is the, the front runner for the Heisman again. I think he'll become one of those guys that could potentially go back to back. I think he has that much talent around him, similar to Tim Tebow when he had Percy Harvin, Aaron Hernandez, all of those guys and company around him on offense to help him better his chances of winning the Heisman and also produce a lot of offense. Coming in at number three, the Louisville Cardinals. Let's face it, Teddy Bridgewater put on a clinic in that uh, title game. I, I've never seen a, a Louisville Cardinals team look so well. You know, and they have a former assistant coach now that's a head coach that came from the University of Florida. That was uh, up under Urban Meyer. That comes from that that gritty, that grind, that that solid uh, football acumen. You know, these guys in Louisville are not playing. Their schedule is soft, and I'm telling you, they could potentially sneak into the national title game because they really don't play a lot of people. A couple of the games that that's on their schedule that scares me, but as far as um, South Florida go playing them they are always dangerous no matter who you're playing against but 
that game against Cincinnati is a big one. So I just think that it's 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 a couple of those things that they can get past and they can do better. But from that national title game where they destroyed Florida, I saw a lot of good things and they have a lot of great guys coming back into next season. So I'm looking for Teddy Bridgewater to also elevate his game and, and better his NFL stock as far as the NFL draft goes. And I know that they can do it. I know that they'll have a productive season being that they have a softer schedule. Coming in at number two. This was a very difficult decision for me. But I have to put the Ohio State Buckeyes at number two. I know they went undefeated last year, didn't get a bowl game because of their sanctions. But when I look at a lot of their players, for example, sophomore defensive end Noah Spence and Washington, you're looking at Michael Bennett, Tommy Shutt, you know, Curtis Grant, Joshua Perry, they have a lot of that talent around that football team. Also, Braxton Miller was one of the best underrated quarterbacks in college football last season. He didn't get a lot of the shine. He didn't get a lot of the, uh, the accolades or things like that. But he went about his business. He is a good dual-threat quarterback, the best dual-threat quarterback since Shoestring Robinson left Michigan. I think he's the best in as far as the Big 12 goes, as far as the dual, I mean, Big 10 goes, excuse me. As far as the dual-threat quarterback goes, he's going to elevate elevate this team to another level. Urban Meyer will not let his team get complacent. He will tell them, yes, you were undefeated last season, but that's last season. You no longer have that title this season. Everyone's going to be looking to put a blemish on your record at Ohio State, and I'm thinking that Ohio State has a great chance to get back to undefeated and potentially challenge for a national championship once all sanctions, penalties, and fines have been paid and levied. I think that this team will be the second best team in college football moving in and coming in at number one. One. You know, it's it's getting redundant, it's getting ridiculous at how much success this team's having. It's a machine. The University of Alabama. In Tuscaloosa, Nick Saban is is preaching football. He is pumping out NFL talent to the NFL. He's also he's stockpiling recruiting. They just signed one of the best quarterbacks, the best pocket passer in uh, high school recently this week. A.J. McCarron and, and these guys, they're just going to keep getting better. Uh, that offensive line, they have girth, they have size, they are big, physical, nasty people that can really run the ball well and pass the ball well. The University of Alabama had, had some scares against LSU and against um, – losing to Johnny Football last season, but we have saw them bounce back. We've seen Saban be a master motivator. He's doing all the right things he needs to do to get his team pumped and ready to go each and every week. I'm picking the University of Alabama to not only possibly go undefeated next season, but I'm looking for Nick Saban to, to, to go and become, I think right now he's the greatest football coach in college football history. You know that we know that he's done the back-to-back -back titles and LSU title. I'm looking for him to get a Heisman Trophy winner in A.J. McCarron because I've seen Mark Ingram in, in his thing do his thing. Trent Richardson was a great player. Nick Saban always, when he, when he has one of those great players, they eventually have a breakout season. I think it's A.J.'s time. I think he'll do a great job, and I think the other supporting cast will step up for Alabama. You'll have a lot of players, young players, that'll get a lot of playing time, I think because they'll blow a lot of people out, and that'll matter towards the end of the season where they get in those tight, close games, and they do a little, a little of everything, running the ball, passing the ball, play action, deep pass, short bubble screens, things like that. I'm picking Alabama to be the best team in college football going into 2013. This has been my top five national college football for JustMyPicks.com. You can also check me out on YouTube, YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV. Follow me on Twitter at YouTube backslash JustMyPicksTV. Thank you very much for subscribing and please comment.